know you would agree kapag sinabi kong nakakagaan talaga ng pakiramdam. Kapag kaumaga pa lang, ang dami mo nang yes. nakikita mga bulaklak, particular ng mga orchids. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi nga nila, nakakawala raw talaga ng stress ang gardening. Oo, tama ka dyan. Yan ang ating pakiramdam ngayong umaga dahil andito nga tayo ngayon sa Quezon Memorial Circle para sa orchid show nila. Kaya naman, usapang orchids tayo this morning. Makakasama po natin, Mr. J.M. Lacandula, Corporate Secretary and Publicity Chairman, Philippine Orchid Society, and Miss Baby Alarcon, Treasurer, Philippine Orchid Society. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Isang makakalikasang umaga. Shalaisin, ang dami mga bulak na tano. So, let's start with the orchid show, the ongoing orchid show. Pang ilang taon nyo na po ba ginagawa itong orchid show na ito, Sir J.M.? Thank you for having us. This is our uh, 72nd year. Ang tagal nyo nang ginagawa. Since 1946, ang Philippine Orchid mm -hmm. Society. Thank you for uh, coming over to our show. It's yes. our pleasure po, Sir J.M. Right. Alam mo, actually, Dayan, every year andito ang ating morning show mm -hmm. para ma-feature itong orchid show. Pero for this year, ano po ba yung mga activities? Ano po ba yung mga makikita natin na iba't ibang klase ng orchids dito sa 2019 orchid show? As usual, we have our lectures. We are, we are inviting the public to, to come to our daily lectures. Libre naman po ito. Eh, entrance lang po dadaan sa exhibit, 30 pesos lang. Mura-mura! Kaya-kaya niya yan. Wow. Eh, pag senior, student, PWD, 20 na lang. Mm -hmm. Basta anong kaya-kaya. Mm -hmm. So we have our lectures, and then we have the... the I'd, I'd like them to see the competition of the landscape exhibits. Mm -hmm. At saka, syempre, ho, ang inaantay ng lahat ng tao, mamili ng tanem sa commercial Ay, exhibit oh, oh. na. Okay. Doon lang sa mga lectures, ma'am, maganda ito sa mga nagsisimula pa lamang ano, sa gardening at saka kung gusto itong gawing negosyo. Oh yes, and I think JM will be able to tell you how to start. Okay, tama. Yung ano, uh, event natin, meron tayong daily lectures. Mm -hmm. no? As ma'am Baby has mentioned, uh, it's free with an entrance fee for the exhibit area. Mm -hmm. Now, sa daily lectures natin, iba-iba yung topics natin about um, starting an orchid business, taking care of different genera of orchids. And then what's uh, best is that we can translate our learnings into earnings. Pwede natin pagkakitaan to. Good business ba ito? Well, of course. Sinan natin si Mom Baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Thank you Jay. And for success, it is a very good business. But like, like what we were talking kanina and earlier, any business, kailangan tutukan mo at siya kaya, you should have your passion mm, in your business. Yan naman yung importante. Okay. Siguro, mga baby, um, hugutin ko po sa sinabi ninyo na maraming, of course, pupunta dito sa inyong orchid show para mamili. Oh. Siguro para sa mga nagsisimula pa lang po na mag-alaga ng orchids, ano po ba yung mga tips ninyo sa kanila? Ano po ba yung mga, siguro, paano ba ito pangalagahan? Oh. Ano ba yung mga dapat tignan when buying orchids? Tips sa pagbili. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, para hindi nila magawa ang aking ginawang mali. Mm -hmm. They should, number one, you should read about, dari ang gusto mo ng particular orchid, magbasa ka muna. Ang dali-dali naman ngayon makakuha ng information. Diyan si Mr. Google, di ba? Mm -hmm. Andiyan ang Facebook. At saka may mga, ano, may mga groups. Nari, gusto mo ng cacti. Oh, mm -hmm. Go to the group. Tapos uh -huh. magtanong-tanong ka. Pero talaga, ang number one is the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Once you have the knowledge, then you know, alam mo na, ang watering, ano, ang sun requirement, mm -hmm. ano pa, paano, ang food requirement. Ako noon, hindi, para ako, ano, ano, ano parang lasing. Uh -huh. Pag maganda, binibili agad. Ay, oo, oh, yan, yan ang sakit. Yan, sakit namin yan, eh, up till now. <laughs> All right. Ano naman yung interesting din tong pag-usapan, yung pagpapangalan yes. sa mga orchids. Kasi balita ko, may mga orchids na pinangalan sa mga tao, even government officials. Sir JM, paano ba yung process ng pagpapangalan sa mga orchids? Tama na yan. Uh, ang mga nagbe-breed ng orchid, they have the first, uh, they have the right to uh, name orchids depende sa gusto nila. For example, this one, this orchid, this is a Vanda Orchid, mm -hmm. named after our DENR uh, Secretary, Roy Simatu. Secretary wow. Simatu? What so do you call that this, orchid? This is called, uh, this is a Vanda Orchid, which is a cross between Vanda Lamelata and Vanda Mary Lee. Mm -hmm. And yung breeder nito ay purification orchids, okay. and they named it after 
Royce Mato. Ang galing-galing, no? Talagang pwede mo palang ipangalan after you. Pwede magkaroon ng Carla Orchid at Bayan Orchid. Possible, possible. At you have to register it first. Kailangan muna ng registry. And may fee din siya. And JM will expound on that. Yes. Yung mga mag-breed na orchids, they can register their orchid sa RHS, which is the Royal Horticultural Society in England. In England. Ang fee is just $12.50. Okay. Ma'am, quickly na lang, please to invite all our viewers to visit here in the Orchid Show and the Flora and Filipino 2019 Expo. Yes. First, thank you for having us and thank you for coming to the show, yung mga nakapunta. At yung mga hindi pa, please come and watch the show. Look at the landscape exhibits, look at the commercial exhibits. Mamimili ho doon. And look forward to our coming international show the Flora Filipina Expo coming on February 24 up till March 5, 2019 after Valentine's is our date. Thank you, thank you so much Mr. J.M. Lacandulo, Corporate Secretary and Publicity Chairman, Philippine Orchid Society and Ms. Baby Alarcon Treasurer, Philippine Orchid Society for joining us this morning and for inviting us dito sa inyong Orchid Show. It's thank our you. pleasure. It's our pleasure, thank See you. you.